it would help if I actually unmuted myself, wouldn't it? My apologies. So I'm the Noble Cube. This is a stream of World of Warplanes. The combat train, uh, combat uh, chain of missions for the Stuka D5 has become available today. I thought it would be tomorrow, so they've surprised me. Uh, happened today, midday, as we can see. And we've got until December the 5th to try and work through that chain of combat missions. So let's have a look and see what's in store for us. Well, we have 15 missions to do, and the first one, earn 60,000 personal points. Well, that's just a grind. If you earn 5,000 personal points a game on average, you can work out that it's going to be 30-odd games. 10,000 is going to... Sorry, three game. Can't do my maths. Let's say you earn 10,000 personal points then per game on average, then it'll be six games. Otherwise, it'll be 12 if you do 5,000 and so on and so on. Mission number two, participate in capturing 25 sectors. Your favourite aircraft that you'd like to uh, capture sectors with, but probably a heavy or a ground attack or a bomber. Next one, destroy 100 air defence aircraft. Quite a big grind, this one. Your favourite destroyer, probably a fighter, maybe a heavy with air defence aircraft. I would probably prefer a heavy here because you've probably got more opportunity to get around from sector to sector. But if you're flying a low tier BF-109B or something like that, that will do just as well. The Flying Paladin Badge. And we need to go and look at what a Flying Paladin is. I think there are two classes of aircraft that you can do this in. Let's just get some information on what the Flying Paladin Badge in World of Warplanes is. Should be able to remember these things. What does it take to get a Flying Paladin badge? Okay, so... Destruction of aerial targets. You need to get 13... in a single battle. And I think there are two classes of aircraft which you can do this in. Um, let's get my own link up. Go and find it properly. Just close down YouTube, which wasn't very clever. Let's get that back up as well. Things a bit slow. Come on, over there. Thank you very much. up please make sure it's muted otherwise we'll get an echo come on show me show me yes that's muted okay so world of warplanes i should have done this before i started useful links achievements did personal missions that's the one It's not the right link. It's development plans. Clicked on the wrong one. Here we go. Oh, leave her alone, Dilly. Dilly, leave her alone. Sorry, D Dilly is just attacking Gert Cindy. Flying Paladin. Destroy 17 aerial targets. Enemy air aircraft, air defense aircraft, bomber flight group. Interesting, bomber flight group in a single battle. So that's for a fighter, but I believe it's also available for a heavy fighter. Yes, you can do it again, but, and this time it's 15 aerial targets only for the Flying Paladin badge. So you'd be better off doing this in a heavy. You can do it in a fighter as well. And bear in mind, bomber flights, aircraft from bomber flights will count. So that definitely tends to lean me towards the heavy. Okay. Let's go for the Conqueror achievement. And again, I need to look that up as well. That's an irritation. Really will have to try and get these in my head. Got to expand all these because, of course, they're not open. Thunder, thunder, that's not right. Rocketeer, quick shot, recover. Galand, Galand, bong, bong, those don't exist in the game anymore. 
Rach doesn't, no, no, that doesn't exist. And I'm not looking at chat, so some of you may be screaming in chat, it's this, it's this, it's this, and I haven't seen it. I apologise for that. I can't see your chat at the moment. Ah, this page which I've come to, I think, hasn't got what I want. So we'll come back to this in a moment. Although... Ah, that's a nuisance. Here we go, this is what we need, Conqueror. Perfect. Think. Uh, allow me to do a search. Here we go, obtain 450 capture points. Okay, so that's nice and easy, except that it will probably take you anything between one and a high number of games to achieve. You need the right sort of conditions. Again, I'd probably do that in heavy. Uh, next, we have 50,000 HP of damage to aerial targets in any, this is a long grind. Next one, 5,000 capture points in any number of battles. You can fly anything for that. It's a fairly long grind. Again, you're probably going to get something like 250 capture points on average per game, if you're lucky. Next one, oh, nasty. Six enemy multi-role fighters. This is going to be a long grind as well. Uh, mission nine. I'm glad to see they've reduced this down from eight. Six enemy aircraft by attacking sectors in a single battle. May very well need to fly that in a heavy. Uh, you may need to actually a, a central air base where you can swap aircraft and quickly um, get into a fighter as well if there's a nearby sector. So flying guardian, which is an achievement. I remember correctly, this one is on fighters. You need to destroy eight when defending a sector. So you want a central repair base basically in a fighter for that. Next one, 3,000 capture points for destroying ground targets while clearly ground attack or a bomber. Next one, destroy 75 air defense aircraft in any battle. I wonder why you have to do 100 in the earlier mission, but only 75 in this one. Okay, so again, just a grind. Deal 600,000 hit points of damage to ground targets in any number of battles. Your high tier bombers, your high tier bat ground attackers will be what you need to do. At least this is an eight. Probably I'm going to get into the BF-110B again and try and destroy six in a single battle. Uh, you'll need the right battle and you'll need to be flying near the spawn probably, or you will need to understand where the ground attack aircraft keep flying. Do this in a low tier um, battle. I wonder if, what the restriction is here. Tiers four, yes, yeah, so do it at tier four, I would suggest. And finally, this is a nasty one. Goal above medal. medal. You need to shoot down in a single sortie, three aircraft with rockets, and you need to win the battle. There are aircraft at tier eight and tier nine, which will allow you to do this more easily. Those are the BVP-210, the BVP-212, also tier 10, the BVP-215. Um, the two tier eight and tier nine ME-262s also have air-to-air -air rockets, and so does the tier nine um, Starfire, the F-94D, the American uh, multi-role. If you have to do this with anything else, good luck with your aiming, trying to hit things in mid-air with air-to-ground rockets. You have got one opportunity, and that is anything that's flying low to the ground, you can destroy with the uh, a rocket fired into the ground ahead of it. But this is going to be tricky to do for many, many people. Right, so that's a quick step through the mission. Sorry, I was a little bit um, awkward over the uh, Conqueror and the Flying Paladin badge, but um, most of these missions are simply grinds. One or two are a little bit tricky. Let's pop those down to one side. Let's reconfigure up so we can see World of Warplanes and let's get started. See if I've missed any chat. Probably not because this is YouTube. Chili Billy, hello to you. Uh, Robert, hello to you as well. So I haven't missed any pertinent chat, just people greeting me and that's very nice to see. So let's get going, shall we? And since I'm in an ME410, let's go. Should put myself in the right place. So it's, first off, it's a grind for personal points. And I'd like to think that I should get this in something like six to eight games. So probably going to take me most of the stream. But uh, if you don't want to buy certificates, then this is what you're going to have to do. It's 
just uh, configure OBS here. AK. Okay. Dees, hello. Bot attack, yes. <clears throat> There's going to be a lot of people flying to do, get this aircraft. Um, if you're on the CIS server, I predict you'll still be able to get this aircraft, but you'd be able to complete everything for tokens. Uh, here we have certificates. So you either spend money or you do the grinding. So first battle of the evening. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I've been talking a lot at work today, so. Oh, this is a little bit croaky. I suppose I ought to switch to my half keyboard, shouldn't I? See the animals are rumbling around on top of my desk here during the day. These things have been knocked over. Things are on the floor. Here we go. Right, the mining plant. Am I top tier? I am. How surprising to see an XP-54. Let's hope he flies straight at me. Are you seeing a bot attack? I'm not seeing a bot attack, Hasha. Oh, she knew better. No better than I. Right, where is the XP-50 going, all going to be? I don't like the fact that I'm the only non-bomber and non-ground attacker that's come to this sector. That means there's a... Bombers are below me. The heavy, a heavy is below me as well. That's the XP-54, and sadly I have to pay attention to the XP-54, otherwise he will pay attention to me. Good. Okay, so he focused on bombers, which was lucky for me. Eight hundred and fifty three DPS, eight hundred and fifty two DPS. It does not take long to knock down a B seventeen. Good. Now, of course, our friend in the XP fifty four is very likely to come back and sort me out. But I thought that might be how, how have we nearly lost this plant already? I'm gonna have to go low because it looks like the ground attackers are being effective. Which gives me a disadvantage if the XP54 comes in, but so be it. Let's try not to dive into the ground. It's something I don't judge very well these days. We've managed to protect the plant. I'm going to get a count in four seconds, which is excellent. Looking around to see threats. The bombers are there, of course. I think I might need to pay attention to this multi roll first. Not only have we lost this, but the heavy has got me. I'm now in trouble. Oh, first shot. 
can you believe that? I mean, I'm going to lose my aircraft anyway. The only question is, is, is the fighter going to be able to knock him down as well? What is pilot? I actually got away from him for a moment. He's still chasing me, so I need to get out of this sector if I can. It's a shame. I can't do anything... Good news is he's going to be on terrifically low health, far lower health than. Oh, gone four to one down. Really, what's happened to my team? Well, the good news is, as I say, he's now on extremely low health. He can't repair. He'd be probably best throwing his aircraft into the ground and getting a fresh one. But if he stays in that aircraft and he comes over the plant, then we've got every chance of knocking him down. Team seem to have rather thrown this away. Harbinger, good evening to you. Thank you very much. I hope it will be good hunting. I don't know what you're seeing, hacker. Uh, you, you're talking about a bot attack in chat. I see nothing. This guy stayed in the XP-54. Means I've killed him. And we have the plant back. The trouble is, we're gradually losing ground here. Absolutely cannot afford to lose the plant. But we need other sectors. Need that ground attacker to be able to go and deliver an attack on the um airfield. Ah, right. I'm going. I'm not going in at the airfield. The XP54 is there. That's just throwing my aircraft away if I do that. Unless I catch him by off guard. So we need to take something else. And above all, we need to keep the plant. This is a tricky situation. I need to both attack and defend. turn to face this fighter. My team seems to have melted. Guys, strongly need to do something. Else. It's good that I've killed him. Oh, of course, that's the moment the XP-54 chooses to come in. I have to leave the sector. I mustn't lose my aircraft in here. Oh, did I get out of the sector? I think so. So I pulled him out. So at least we've managed to hold on for a little while longer. It's tight. If we get a few more counts off the plant. We should win. Provided we don't lose the garrison, which is possible as well. Yeah, if we lose the plant, we'll lose this. We need to hold the plant. We've killed something over the plant. That helps. Tight one. And it was the right thing to do to kill the XP-54. And we've got it. We've killed something else over there. So, good news. We've beaten the cheese head in the XP-54. 
lose the plant right at the end, but it's too late for them. Okay. Pleased with that. And that's our first 12,000 points towards the first mission. So, hoping to do 10,000 on average, so that's good news. Um, well, we all know. Let's go and have a look. Maybe I'm maybe I'm being unfair, but I'm willing to bet 50-50 that this guy, this aircraft, is at the top of his um, most flown aircraft. Shall we have a look? What's the betting? Will I be right or will I be wrong? I mean, it's clearly a CIS account, so I think I know what's coming. No, oh, he's got a bomber and, well, there you go. RB-17, which the CIS players seem to favour over the B-29C. Uh, this guy's flying um, what he regards as overpowered aircraft, vastly more than anything else. No surprises there. Glad to have handed him a defeat. There we go. Uh, let's move into tier 7. I'm trying to work on above the sky as well, so... Hoping I've got a count there, actually. Was I first on my team by personal points? Should have got a count there. I did. Okay, right. Right, let's go up to tier 7. We'll fly another hard-hitting aircraft. We'll fly my, fly my Zwilling, although this is very fragile. 856 DPS. Sorry, on my, um, in theory, on my um, ME410, I've got 823 DPS. So definitely tier 8 uh, kind of uh, DPS. I could fly the ME210. That's not a bad call. I might do that afterwards. Mm, top tier. Awkward. Very awkward. Much more manoeuvrable than me. Not as good in head-on, but why would you go head-on with me? And they've got, uh, they've got another swilling a B-32. Well, we still need to get to this plant. That's the key sector on the map. Yes, I, I haven't actually looked at the um, discounts coming up for the ninth birthday, but there will be stuff that people want, and it sounds like hangar slots will, will be your thing, Akka. Not, not an issue to me, but for people who are grinding their way through the game, eight slots makes it very, very tricky to make progress. It can be done, but it takes a lot of management. But that, therefore, many people will appreciate cheap slots. Again, nice that they've got discounts on the premium aircraft. Again, of no interest to me because I've got them all already something like 60 odd free hangar spaces as well when I already have all of the aircraft in the game but uh, I'm pleased that things are being done for players who are making their way through the game I am a little bit upset here I am the only one who's come to the most critical sector on the map my B30 I know he's slow but he's gone here which means he's now got an even bigger journey to this plant we could very well be in trouble here get round quickly. I have to hope this guy comes at me head on. And I need to try and get away from him. Three and a half thousand feet is not enough. How can he be shooting me at three and a half thousand feet? He doesn't have the... well. I couldn't see him. Still, 
he's down. We'll go back. I am bitterly disappointed. Oh, my other swilling is messing around over here. Lots of bad tactics from a number of players here. team may have three sectors but they've completely messed up dropping altitude to go after the fighter yeah we lost the plant really 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 poor play from this team they've concentrated on completely the wrong sectors So we'll kill this bomber and then go back and protect my bomber over the plant. That was totally unnecessary losing that plant. And what's bothering me is my team is still seems to be obs clustering around here. We're going to lose that sector without a doubt, and we haven't even started on the plant yet. Let's go and try and take out a 30 point target. Hmm. Let's finish off this one. This will be 30 points. Let's go and see how much of that other one I left. Not a lot. Okay, so we've actually taken out two targets here, that's good. There's no defense... Ah, oh, yeah, we've now lost lots and lots and lots of sectors. Let's see if we can finish this off. Just blew up because we've got fire breathing. So we've got this, but we are behind. Need to get altitude. There's no doubt the enemy will mount an attack. We need to defend this and hope that we can take another sector. team is failing to take its local command centre. And now the Zwilling, now that I'm here defending, the Zwilling who didn't come here when he should have, has now come here uselessly. <sighs> Do I dare leave this sector? Yes I do, but the Zwilling has gone off to attack the command centre. We've got nothing else to attack at the moment, so I won't heal the pilot. I could, but I won't. I'll save that in case I need it. I need it. 
a watch for that heavy. Yeah, oh, the sub hornet, and he's coming here like the clappers. We're getting a count off the plant, but we've just lost another sector. We've lost our local garrison. And I'm afraid this is typical of play that I've seen on the server recently. Clueless. Totally clueless in terms of defence. No no concept of defence whatsoever. down there. I have to hope that he's being taken care of. And we've lost this game. We've lost this game because of utterly terrible tactics by the team. Bomber didn't come here. Zwilling didn't come here. Terrible, terrible play by this team. That's all about bad, bad, bad tactics by the Zwilling and the B-32. Both went to the wrong places at the start of the battle. And the problem is, if you go here, you're really committing to taking these three sectors, which they didn't, because you've got such a long journey to here. The VB-10 was also a bit lucky to get away with destroying me. And it was quite notable he didn't want anything to do with this sector after afterwards. So, sadly, extremely bad tactics, and I'm afraid this is, I say afraid, this has become a feature with the influx of CIS players, not that all of those were CIS players, bad tactics weren't exclusively the province of uh, CIS players, there were plenty of players on the EU server who were tactically clueless, but I've noticed it is actually worse now that we've had the CIS players across, lots of players who just either have no idea about tactics, or simply don't care and just want to chase th red things over the map and shoot them. So be it. And let's try some. Well, actually, let's go and fly that ME210, shall we? Let's get a better pilot in there. Continue training the BF10110B. So we'll keep them in tandem. Where are you? It's just scrolling straight past him. Oh, he's already in. That's why. That was the gunner I actually did, not the pilot. Let's do the pilot now then. There we go. Okie dokie. Now this has got a pair of pretty good bombs, which is why I've put Demolition Expert on the pilots that uh, fly in this. The weapon... Weaponry is okay, it's not brilliant. Yes, VBAT surprised me as well. I expected them to be available, yes, uh, tomorrow from early in the morning, but they actually came in at lunchtime today, so we've started. And I spent a little time at the front of the video just expressing my opinion on what needed to be done for the missions. One or two of them are going to be quite tricky, and one or two of them are nasty long grinds. The call above at the end is going to be the worst for many people, I suspect. You are approaching the area of combat operations. Be ready. Okay, let's go to the command center. Let's see what we can do there. Now, the idea will be to clear out as many of the enemy aircraft and the air defence aircraft as possible and, if then necessary, use the bombs to finish off one or two targets. That's the plan. Let's see what reality reveals to us. The 
Now, those of you who watch me regularly on Twitch may be pleased or may feel daunted by the fact that I have the day off tomorrow, which means that I could be streaming for quite a long time. Not the entire day, because I will have to break off and do certain things. Being dragged away from where I want to be. This is awkward, actually. My team is managing to lose this without me having actually got involved. I'm going to overheat the guns deliberately because... Oh, crikey, I've shot that down. We are already struggling. Need to kill this Bristol. He's way above where he should be. This should be an easy kill. Okay, good. It looks like he was carrying quite a few of the points. I may have made a mistake turning for this bomber. Got away with it. Whatever was behind me is not interested in me. And we still lost it. We weren't even close where we looked. I don't know how many of my team came here, but they all died. So it's two sectors each. My problem is now that the defenders are possibly going to all be low altitude. Something is firing at me. I was hoping to get some sort of critical on him. So let's go away a little, a little bit and now come back wallowing a bit, so I should be able to deliver an attack. That's jolly good. Now we may be able to get to this bomber, which has flown over the middle as well, but I think he's going to get out. And he's a B7... Oh, it's a Dornier 17. Oh, well, let's keep going. Maybe. I don't think he's going to be in the sector by the time I kill him. Yeah, he's got out. Still, he needs to go down. Let's try and get this hurricane out. Jolly good, and I didn't even use my bombs. Fighter that's fairly close by, so I want two fighters in fact. Fortunately, the Bristol was busy with something else. Even busy. I was going to turn for the bomber, but I can feel that there's fire coming in, so I need to examine the situation first. Should be alright. First. It's a fact a multi robot will kill him in kill him anyway. I'll go for the bomber. I'm not getting to see the ordnance. And I'm not sure you will on this occasion. Good. It's a heavy somewhere below me. Good. Ground attackers are us. Can't actually see what I'm doing, so I need to get up because my depth vision is very poor these days, having lost most of the sight of my right eye. Well played to the ground attackers, they both turned into me, as you should. Hoping one of them will have turned away. That one has, so we should be able to kill this one now. 
problem is, is, is has that given time for their teammates to congregate and give me a hard time? Can't afford. There's a bomber up above. Do I go up? Do I kill the ground attacker? He's survived an immensely long time. I didn't need to kill the ground attacker. Didn't need to. Alright, let's get up. Still need to get up. I've used all my boost, so I'm gonna have to climb at a shallow angle. Good. So I'm pretty sure you're not going to see me use my bombs here, except in a nugatory fashion where it doesn't matter. saying good, but it is. I think I've been fairly effective in this battle. Yep, I found the bomber. I knew he'd be coming from the airfield, so that's what I expected I would have to do next. I'm going to talk about Imperial measures and the United Kingdom in a moment. Jolly good next. Possibly nothing I think the game is. Unless I can just get a little bit of work done on this heavy. Tiny bit. Okay, good. So, ME210. If you've got a good pilot and a good gunner and you don't forget to use the bombs in situations where it's important, it wasn't in that battle, it's not a bad plane. I think the guns are just a little bit underwhelming, but you can really make it work. And I think my video on the um, plane actually undersells it a bit. I've, I've come to actually enjoy playing it more than I was when I, was, I made that video. I think it's a good little aircraft. Okay. Right, so... I don't know Harbinger about missions on the NA server, so you have to go and look at the relevant page. I could do right now, but uh, you can do that equally well for yourself. Aha! I see a lesser spotted Prokhoja. Prach. Prach. Prokhoja. Prokhoja. Prach. Prokhoja. You know who you are, passerby in English. Lovely to see you. Really lovely to see you. Really lovely to see VBAT as well. So I use Imperial. I'm old. I'm 60 years old. I was brought up in the Imperial system. It's what I know. I also think it's more human than the soulless metric system. Um, I would reserve the metric system purely for scientific purposes. However, this country is really a metric country with a veneer of Imperial measurements on top. Unlike Canada, which I would say is an Imperial country with a veneer of metric measures on top. I don't suppose we'll ever stop using miles an hour on our road signs, but in most per cases, people now talk about metres instead of yards, much to my regret. Um, however, we are still buying pints of milk and we are still buying pints of beer, but that is a veneer on top of what is a metric core, I would believe, I, I would say. However, I will stick with what I know and love, which is imperial measures, and that includes using Fahrenheit. So it is just a fraction under 59 degrees Fahrenheit. 
But those of you who use those funny odd measures, um, that's 15 degrees uh, centigrade spot on. Okay, so we have made good progress here. We've only got another 17,000 to go of three battles. So um, above the sky, we would have got a count there as well. So we'll carry on. That's a this is a tricky, nasty uh, ten token mission to do. Being top on your group is a pretty tall order for mo most people, including me, especially when I get into period three. But then having to combine it with a win condition is a bit of a stinker. But we'll carry on with it. Um, what should I play next? Well, we'll go back up to, since I'm doing period two, we'll stay, stick with the seven. But we'll play a different heavy. Actually, we'll play that VB-10. We will play the VB-10. Let's take the, v, the uh, ME-210 off. I hope that was enough for you, Hacker, and I hope you enjoyed it. Well, I know certain facts of um, intersections on the scale. So, in, for instance, every 10 degrees, every 9 degrees Fahrenheit is 5 degrees Celsius. So, for instance, if it's 59 here and that's 15 degrees Celsius, which I happen to know, then 68 degrees Fahrenheit is 20 degrees Celsius and so on and so on. It's very easy. But interesting intersections. 82 degrees Fahrenheit is 28 degrees Celsius, spot on. And the two scales actually cross at minus 40. Minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit is the same as minus 40 degrees Celsius. Ah, a repository of useless knowledge. VB10, shall we? French aircraft, I've put it into Royal Air Force colours. So we'll pick off a good Royal Air Force pilot. Yeah, let's train the hunter pilot. Uh, for those of you who may not know, the European stroke international aircraft, the premiums, can be swapped for 100,000 credits to any of the other major nations. And you do it by right clicking on the aircraft, change nation, and then selecting the one that you want. And you have to decide if you want to spend 100,000 credits and indeed what to do with the crew. Dismiss them or send them to the barracks. And of course, if you don't have ba barrack space, that could be a problem. Go. Well, it's good quiz knowledge, isn't it? Many's the time I've come up with an answer at a quiz, which everybody's gone, how do you know that? Because I read useless books. Or as Philip Larkin once said in a poem famously, get stewed, books are a load of crap. I believe he was being ironic. Um, how long am I going to be on? I was sort of thinking I might do a couple of hours tonight, the battle, uh, at least as far as streaming. So, but I will be starting up again. What is the UK morning? And as I say, tomorrow I have the day off, so I will probably be doing more than one stream tomorrow, and they could be quite lengthy streams. I do have to go out in the middle of the day. I need to take Dilly the cat for a checkup at the vet to make sure that uh, her spaying a week ago has gone well, and then Dilly the cat will be free to come and go as she pleases outside. No more keeping her in. Wow, that's a lot of specialised aircraft on both sides. Tricky, tricky. I'm going to try and shoot down the RB-17 with my VB-10, but this is a bit dangerous. If that's a specialised RB-17, it could very well be that his rear gunner is mo a monstrous problem. We have a B-29. Oh, it's Burger King. I know Burger King extremely well. I keep telling him not to fly the B-29C because it's wrecking the game. And he keeps flying... No, that's not true, actually. He flies it a lot less than he used to.
that's the one that worries me. It's sniping me from a long way away. Wow, no bombers, but it's to oh my god. Oh, the RB-17's gone in low and fooled me. Yep. He's down here somewhere. There he is. I have to ignore him, though. I should not have gone at him directly, but it didn't really matter. Now we need to go there and support... Uh... Oh, my team isn't actually at the plant. Okay. This is Burger King doing his own thing again. Well, he now needs to wait for the plant to clear a bit. I notice there's a fighter going in there. I'm going to have to go in and try and deal with that. Could have easily outmaneuvered that heavy, but uh, I was a bit annoyed by not spotting that the RB-17 had gone in low instead of high. So, Burger King is now going there. I'm going there to try and protect him, although the 1056 has simply not turned round after him, which surprises me. But what I am going to do is try and make sure this fighter can't get at him. That's a bot fighter. That's quite interesting. Well, Burger King would probably deal with that on his own, but never mind. Well, between us, Burger King and I have taken the plant immediately. Now it's my job probably to stay here. Look at all that damage I took from the AA. Half my hit points gone. Well, the RB-17 will be back and we now know he's flying low. I need to catch him from the front, try and pummel him before he gets here past me and hope that I've got enough health left to be able to knock him down. I'm only going to be able to do this once if that's the engagement that I come up on next. There could also be a heavy. He's extremely low, actually. He's going to try and use his ordnance at the plant. Let's stop that. Not allowing that. Yeah, and I think, I think he realised... Do I want to try use health on this? Well played the RB-17. He sneaked in from the back and he's got me where he wants me as well as getting over the plant. This is bad news. Conceivably he could start shooting me now, although he has turned, which is a relief. Now between both of us, I'm hoping the fighter's still here, otherwise... Can you see what's just happened here, guys? This is absolutely disgusting. That RB-17 shot at my pilot twice in a row in quick succession. Basically, he shot my pilot out, I healed him, he shot my pilot out instantly. That should not be allowed to happen in the game. That's absolutely ridiculous that they can have such powerful criticals. And I did say he would be a problem with his rear gunner. That's absolutely ridiculous that he did three criticals in the space of no more than five seconds, including killing my pilot twice. He's going to dump his aircraft. Not before I shoot you. Although I would have got the kill anyway. So we have the airfield. I expect Burger King to come back. I have to protect him. Because I expect the 1056 will now spawn and try and come straight to the plant. Unfortunately, my team 
does not understand. That's the threat I've been worried about all game, the TU-1 sniping me. My team has n no conception of helping me. So it's only the Grand Attackers and Burger King, who's now going to get shot down because he's got two heavies on him. I don't give him any hope at all of surviving that engagement. Oh, I had to ignore the J7. I had to ignore him. I had to try and get over here. And what a terrible game. And it's all because I'm trying to do the right thing and my team is absolutely focused on doing the wrong things. I have no choice now. I can't avoid... I don't understand how that didn't hit. And I've got a... That's it. I'm going to get shot down again because I'm desperately trying to get to the plant. And I've got a J8M on my tail, J4M on my tail now. I can't get where I need to be. I should have spawned here. But this team is playing pretty cluelessly. Pretty damn cluelessly. I shouldn't have spawned in the airfield, really. The trouble is it's nearer the plant. See, they're doing the right thing. They're now defending the plant. They didn't initially, to be fair, but now they are. Yeah, there's four of them here. Look at this. Please don't be the TU-1. Please don't be the TU-1. It's the TU-1. That's it, we've lost because my team is clueless. Turn back. The enemy force is too strong. I tried to do the right things, and my reward for that is a really appalling point score. Well played to the enemy team. They understood what they had to do. Uh, I am really annoyed with Burger King going to the airfield and the command centre first. That was just greedy of him my opinion. So I ended up at the plant on my own. <clears throat> you may have figured that the RB-17 would take it. I agree with him. I think the RB-17 was going to take the plant first, but why not be there to take it immediately? It's the most critical sector on the map. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty cross with my team there. Let's go again. Let's see if we can get something better done. That's right, Spartacus, yes. I do a little bit of streaming on YouTube. Um, I think it's because Awesome Pete is on Twitch and um, possibly at least one other... Oh, Pew Pew was on as well. I thought I wouldn't intrude into their space. I thought I'd come along on YouTube and stream. Um, RB17. Overpowered in Tier 8 battles when it's not faced with a couple of heavies. Tier 9 battles, it's not so hot. I think the, the, the B-29C is toxic, but the thing about... More toxic, but the thing about the RB-17 is it's both quick, it's got a very, very, very good reload, and with a really good gunner, you can't get near it from behind. And it seems to be the preferred choice of the CIS players over and above the B-29C. Oh, here we go. Three B-29Cs. I know I've got two of them, but that's just sickening to see. That really is. And I know Burger King is one of them, and I like Burger King a lot. But flying the B-29C is just a, such a toxic thing to do. And we've got three of them in the game. And it's going to be like this throughout the mission marathon. People going into their overpowered aircraft. I'm not even really interested in the plant. I should be. But when you've got three B-29Cs... It's just pathetic. 
Yes! Get good. Get good, noob. He doesn't say that much these days, actually. Most of what I hear from basement is, ha ha, you miss! Okay, so I should be able to dispose of an F7F under any circumstances except perhaps a head on. And uh, he's not going to get me head on, so it's a tier 7 down. Some ropey shooting there. I got him in the end, but I wasn't aiming very well there, was I? More bad shooting. Need to be a bit careful here because I want to know. Oh, it's Burger King. Well, I'm dead. Because I've got behind him. Let's kill this grand attack before I die. Oh, Grand Attacker, go for the bloody B-29, B you muppet. Yeah. And that's ridiculous as well. B-29, I know he's a Tier 8 heavy uh, bomb, but he should not be able to shoot down heavies that quickly. And my Grand Attacker made a bad mistake there by going for the other Grand Attacker. I can understand why he did it, but it was a bad mistake. So we're going to get to the B-29 head-on, hopefully very badly damaged because the Grand Attacker has been shooting at it. We'll try and finish him off. Oh, he's still got half his health. This is ridiculous. And that's another fighter he shot down. Get out of there, you scrote. Flying a bloody B-29. Uh, I'm really quite annoyed with Burger King. He knows better than this. Having said that, this pair of CIS players are equally loathe objectionable. That's annoying. Now I'm in trouble. I have to go back. Can you please stop dogfighting, Grand Attack, and get out. Here's Burger King, and I've got no health. Let's just shoot him up a bit. Maybe the Grand Attacker will help me. I'm going to die here. I just want to try and take as much health off him as possible. There we go. He's down to about a quarter health. He'll be easier to kill from now on. We'll do the same. We'll shoot him down about here. And the trouble is when you've got three B-29Cs in the game, it becomes not a question of sectors. It becomes a question of intercept the bomber. He's actually thrown himself into the ground. Okay. Let's go and kill this bomber then. Yeah, I don't see why we've got three sectors to one down suddenly. Okay, let's. What's the best thing to do? Is we'll make sure we get. The, well, we're going to get the plant anyway, aren't we? I've got wasted my time here going there. Let's go and see what we can do here then.
think. It's the TU ten. Let's watch out that one. I'm going to use engine cooling to get there, just so I put some distance between myself and his... Okay, that's just reverse progress a little bit. Let's see if we can do something else. A bit heavy. Oh, really? We never, I was never going to stop it from being taken because Burger King, of course, has flown in and over it. But uh, Provided he doesn't get to the uh, garrison, which he won't, we've won this game. No surprises there. What a stupid game for everybody except the idiots in the B-29Cs. And yes, Burger King, I do think you're an idiot for flying this aircraft when you know full well it's wrecking the game. You and I have had this conversation... And as much as I, I like you, chum, you just aren't learning your lesson. I'm very disappointed. Right, so we've now got the first mission done in the chain. And again, he's not the only one, is he? We've got another pair from the CIS server, I believe. Maybe not, at least one of them. Also flying their B-29Cs completely regardless for the effect this has on the game. Absolutely smashes the game. Nobody else was relevant in that battle. Not even me. Just these three bombers. World of Warplanes team, you seriously have to get a hold of this game and do something about those bombers. Okay, what's next on the agenda? Next mission up... Participate in capturing 25 sectors in any number of battles. Okay. So it doesn't really matter what we fly, but the implication there, I think, is ground attacking for me. I don't fly bombers, or at least I fly them extremely rarely, as you well know. Even the ones that aren't overpowered. So we're going to go into the ME-265. Let's have a look and see what we can do. Let's see how many bombers we get. Um, it's because of the, the mission I've got, um, Spartacus, um, outside of the, the missions for the, um, the Stuka. Stuka. Um, above the sky means that I need to try and finish first on my team in a winning battle. Oh, here we go. This guy from the previous battle. And he's on his own. Okay. I need to try and not go where he goes. But he's going to finish top. Nothing's going to be able to stop him. Just nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's my prediction. Shall we see how close I am to the truth? Yeah, I know. And perhaps I will drop down. In fact, actually, you're quite right. I keep running into B-29s in Tier 8 battles. Um, I don't like to fight at lower tiers, but I am, have to say it's tedious when people just spam their B-29s and ruin the game. And I'm choosing my words carefully. I say ruin the game. I think they do. So do all the EF131 players, similarly at tiers 9 and 10. Sadly, a lot of the CIS players seem utterly wedded to their overpowered bombers. It's 
These are not just CIS players, of course, but... Uh, Unfortunately, it looks as if... Oh, we've got a B-32 as well. But he's been shot down, so I'm not sure where he got shot down. And they've got two human T-265s, so that's very awkward for me, because I'm in between them. And this one's chosen to hunt me. Let's see if you can turn like a fighter. Right, you shouldn't have shot at me, because now I will shoot you down. Wolf bought you for doing that, Sonny. Which means I now, the guy I would have ignored, I am actually going to go for. Away. There we go. That's all personal points, so I suppose it's useful. Perfect, got his engine. And whilst I shouldn't be doing this, I'm perfectly well aware that I've got two bombs in the game, so I'm going to hunt points wherever I can get them. So what we'll do is we'll get outside the sector, we'll throw the aircraft into the ground, we'll respawn, see if we can either get there or perhaps go here if they take it. Right, we should be out of the sector now, so let's respawn. With a fresh aircraft. So Skunk Bid. To a degree, the XP-54 has been nerfed. It now faces a much higher chance of getting into Tier 7 battles. And it has been that's been the case for several months now. And I think it's had an effect. But they're still just as all deadly and unpleasant if they get into a tier six battle as ever they were. What the Wargaming team World of Warplanes team did not do is nerf the overheat time on the cannons. Which should have been two or three seconds instead of the damn near ten to twelve seconds that it is. One, it's another aircraft you won't see me fly. There is a very rare and specific situation in which I fly an XP-54. That's if I can change into the aircraft and I'm opposed by a flight of XP-54s. You don't see that so often these days, so basically I don't fly the XP-54. will turn like that, I will shoot you. Because in this battle with so many bombers, I've got very little else that I should do. Ghastly way to play a grand attacker, but under the circumstances I see I've got very little option. Kill that. I'm not sure I'm going to get up. Got my wing. Ooh, wow. Collision with a vampire. I actually got me. I got him as well. And that's actually been enough to turn the uh, sector. 
along with the help from the others. So this one conveniently needs to be taken, so though this one is nearer, I think. And will I be unlocked by the time I get there? There's also a bomber going there already, so that's decided me. Let's go to this one. Hello Erica, I'm fine and I hope you're well too. Um, the fra XP-54 is fragile, but it's so manoeuvrable that it can usually get itself out of trouble, provided it's not being flown in amongst fighters. The other thing that is a problem for it, of course, is that uh, its engine gets shot out quite a uh, Sorry, it goes on fire quite a lot. But if it's well flown, it's a pestilential aircraft, and it's a good job it's been nerfed so that it faces tier 7s more than it faces tier 6 aircraft these days. I could almost do that with the guns, but I won't. Lift for fire there, please. There we go. Okay, good. There. <laughs> I know. It's oh, no, he's not. Okay, I've made the mistake then. I shouldn't have gone for this guy. I must admit, I assumed he was coming for me. Two down again. Got a big lead, so it doesn't matter. be bombed by my own plane here. This will do it. There we go. Doesn't matter that I've been shot down. We've got that fourth center and now the game is well won. And it looks like I'm going to get a count. I've actually beaten the um, B-29C. That's interesting. Yeah, so badly flowing XP-54, obviously like any badly flowing aircraft, is less of, of a threat, but an XP-54 in somebody in the hands who's an average player is a mighty pest, except that it has been nerfed. Okay, so here we go, above the sky, just to show you why I'm doing this. Be the top player in the combat group by the number of personal points and the required number of battles, which is seven, as you can see there, and you can have to win as well. So we captured four sectors there. Don't want to fly ground attackers at lower tier. Do want to try and get Emmy. Let's go and fly a different heavy at tier five, shall we? Sick of facing B B-29s or having B-29s on my team. I could fly at tier 6, I might do that. Um, blah, blah, blah. Let's fly the key 45. Okay, yeah, that was okay. I mean, to be fair, I was allowed to do most of what I wanted to do. I was lucky with those two ground attackers at the start of the game. Only one of them went for me. If they'd both gone for me, I'd have been in trouble. Um, and then, because I know how to fly fighters, I was able to easily outturn the guy who attacked me in his ME265, shot him down. That put me on the tail of the other one, who, to be fair to him, had ignored me. And I would have left him alone had it not been for his friend. Okay. 
military base. I can now turn these two. What else have they got that's a problem? That could be a problem. Okay, still the military base. Just check, do a weapons check. Don't know if I've got long, 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 long gun barrels on this plane. 1700, 1900. That won't show if I've got long gun barrels on the plane. I should check before I go into battle. I'd be quite surprised if I haven't got long gun barrels on this. Okay, where's your friend? Friend is over there, I think. He's being shot down. Yeah, I thought this P-47 could possibly be up here. Ah, I've got a fighter on me. Oh. And he set me on fire as well. Okay, let's see if we can take revenge. Might be a better idea to actually go and try and take the um, airbase and get some repairs, but... Uh, So he's not going to be able to do very much because that aircraft has got... Well, in fact, he's down. Not sure whether that's my kill or whether he's been finished off by the heavy. Okay. Garrison will be ours now. Um, yeah, let's go back to the middle. Mm, great. Somebody who's been either thrown out of the battle has left it. No defence of the military base by anybody. Our military base is launching strikes on the enemy. This will make things easier for you. And because of that, we've lost it because our bomber also chose to fly across. Kind of like to wait until it's unlocked before I shoot this guy. I might actually get to do that, although. I've actually got to pay attention to the fact there's a fighter coming in at express speed. In fact, I do. How did that gun miss that much? Come on, take this. I need this. We need to get into the centre. The team is um, being a bit sloppy at the moment, I think is the way I would describe it. But I'm amazed I didn't hit the key 88 at all, almost at all. It looks like I landed no cannon shots on him, which is incredible, really. I need to kill these bombers. Let him come back. We'll go for the heavy first. Or the key. He's gone down low, so let's go up high. He had no idea that I was there, did he? Thank you. Whilst we're here, may as well take on the uh, defence aircraft.
Bitch. Good. No, you don't. Go on, throw it into the ground. I think he is going to throw it into the ground. I get the kill for that, so that's fine. Pinch that. Escorts first, although the SE-100 is turned away from the bomber, so I think probably all right. Ah, he's turned for me, the SE-100. That's annoying. I should have gone for him first, after all. Good evening, Cleeks. How are you? I say again, support will not be available. We have complete control of the sky. The key 102 has its merits. Good XP54 pilot is going to make mincemeat of a good key key 102 pilot every day, though. win. It's more progress. It's captured two sectors, so that's six out of 25. Head back home. Super duper. I not pronounced correctly. Dragon Slayer. Uh, let's go and fly the Key 102 actually, since it's been mentioned. I'll fly the Mustang afterwards. That could be fun. Here we go. Let's check the weapons ranges here. 1900, 1800. Okay, fine. Let's go. So I should be back on Twitch tomorrow. Um, I will start at my regular time. However, I have the day off tomorrow, so I'm going to devote quite a bit of the day to streaming potentially. So if you like my company, and I hope you do, you'll have more of me. And if you don't like my company, you have been suitably warned. What shall we do with the drunken pilot? Got the 250 kilogram bombs. If we shoot down both of the air defence aircraft and we're still in need of doing so, we'll use them. Oh, they're going low, although he's just reorientated. Is the other one dead? 
appear so, so maybe we do need to use the bombs, maybe we don't. A couple of gun emplacements should do it. Let's go for it. One does it, but I might get the second one. It. very important we don't lose our military base even though we're two sectors to one down that's what I'm going to concentrate on it's clearing out first right why didn't my team take their local garrison did we all come here might turn round actually in a moment. Depends. No, I won't. We're going to get in range. There's another bomber behind me. I don't need to boost for this. So we'll just to recoup a little boost. So we're on the back foot here. And their ME4210 is defending. Their military base. Bad shooting. Nice fire, he's probably dead, but let's make sure of it. We have got three sectors to one, so I'm going to sit here and defend for a little while longer, but of course that situation will change. There will be a period of time when they have 3-1. So ideally what we need to do is try and get across to their military base and take it if we can at some point. That was utterly stupid. Luckily for me, he's blown up that's put us on really on the back foot because we're now actually going to be 3-1 down very shortly as you can see. We're going to lose that. I'm not in position. We're not doing anything at their military base. Foolish, foolish, foolish play. first but you definitely uh, so you're going to try and kite me out this could be clever play by a bot he's actually pulled me away from the sector away from the bombers so I have to turn back which means he may very well be able to come in if I was a human player I would have thought that was a very clever tactic There we go, we are 3-1 down, as I expected at some point. Um, get the Grand Attacker, and then I think we're going to have to try desperately, to try hard to get their military base. Come on, May. Risk, but uh, 
The trouble is they've got both bombers over here. I really cannot afford to ignore that. Time to go and attack their military base might be after the school line and after we've got the bombers and ground attackers out. To be fair, we are 3 1 up again, which is quicker than I expected. Okay. Or oh, it's now. Now it's time. By the time I get there, it will be past squall line. What I have to do is shoot down the ME210, I'm pretty sure. Okay, this is going to be the key engagement, I think. If I can catch him whilst he's occupied with the bomber, I'm in really good shape. The problem is he's really hammering the bomber and I'm a long, long way away from him. after school line. I think that could be critical. I think it is critical. We are losing the military base. There are too many enemy aircraft. Ooh, that was close. Whatever that was, that was close. We've lost the other military base. How quickly can we get the garrison? The garrison is closer. I'm going to have to use my boost here. I think we've lost this battle. I think they're going to get the garrison before we do. In fact, actually, the garrisons are virtually going to swap. I need to try and take the military base. I cannot afford to turn for him. They're going to swap before us. They've won it. Despite the fact I've just killed a sharp pencil. I've got my bombs. Too late. They got the garrison before we did. You've done what you could. Go back to base. <laughs> mm. Should I have gone to their military base earlier? I probably should have. The trouble is they had ground attackers and bombers constantly going in here and nobody else was dealing with them. Nobody else was really in a position to deal with them. So I took a chance and got over here. We did capture this and for a while it looked as if that would be the decisive moment of the game, but they took this. The trouble is if I had waited until I'd shot down at least one of the bombers over there, I don't think I'd have taken them their military base in time. That's a little bit of a disappointment. Perhaps what I should have done is actually gone for their military base earlier. Or, or even first. Maybe I should have gone there first, shot down A-sharp pencil, and then maybe we'd have taken ours anyway. 
Yeah, that that's the problem. You're never quite sure what's going to happen, Robert. If you're going to lose your... Well, we did lose our... What happened was I left our military base. We lost it. Had I waited any longer, we would have probably not taken theirs. It's a devil in the deep blue sea. I really needed one more player. I mean, to be fair, that 12,000 is not a bad score from the XP-55. It's just that one suspects he wasn't quite fighting in the right places at the right times, whereas A-Sharp Pencil defended that military base for a very, very long time. Yeah, bit of a shame. Let's try that again, shall we? The key thing is, in a defeat, you learn more from your defeats um, than you do from your victories. And it's always worth just running over, what did I do that was good and what did I do that was bad there? I don't think I did a lot wrong, to be fair, Robert, you're right. It's a question of, should I have waited longer at the mil our military base, shot down one or maybe both of their bombers and then made a play for their military base? But I think I would have left it too late in terms of points. It turned out that our inability to take our local garrison right at the start of the game cost us, and I don't know why we weren't able to take our local garrison. I wasn't watching. I can't tell you anything about the new plane, other than there's a train of combat mission Spartacus, and I'm working through them. I haven't bought the aircraft. I'm not going to. I mean, we could look at some of the statistics, but what I've learned from looking at the statistics page, um, which is undoubtedly up now, Spartacus, is that I know for a fact there's errors at least on two of the items on the statistics page and secondly it doesn't give you enough of a feel for the aircraft to know what it's going to do you are just going to have to be patient and wait until I get it in my hangar and that's going to be two or three days um Could be a nasty battle. Or it might not be. Depends on where the heavies are. We've got four heavies to there too. Depends on how we split up. I'm going to the command centre first because that's the side I'm on. And I've got bombs. Even though there's only fighters there. Yeah. And what we'll probably do, actually, for an initial first pass, we'll probably fly it on YouTube and see what we make of it raw before we try and actually do a, a full review video. That way we can get content out on the uh, aircraft quickly. So I'm absorbing the uh, tensions of the ground, the um, air defence aircraft, which means our ground attack should get in fairly quickly. Really? There we go. Well, I think we should attack the airfield in that case. Lousy, lousy shooting. Enemy bombers inbound. Don't let them reach their target. Oh, that's unfortunate. A hurricane, which I just a tornado, which just got shot down, spawned there. But that gives me an opportunity to get here and help take this. They're going to be an occupied defending that their base for a little while, so with a bit of luck our command centre will release a couple of bomber flats at least.
was annoying. But we need this more than I need to defend the air, air base, I think. It's 15 points, but that's done it anyway. Good. Now we'll go back to the airbase. Let's go and see if we can sort out that heavy. Actually, we'll leave the uh, heavy B. Let's go for the flight bombers. Got two heavies in there. We don't need three on one heavy, surely, do we? If I shoot these down, that eliminates the threat to the airbase as well. Come on, guys, shoot the heavy down. What the devil? How did they not shoot down that heavy? That's crazy. There's two heavies in there that didn't shoot down the XP-54. That's appalling. That really is appalling. Of course, it meant I lost my bomber flight as well, which is really irritating. Really? That was that side of the sector? That wasn't. Oh, really? I was going to say, that's taking so little... Is this deja vu? Is this tornado going to get me a second time? Or is the XP-54 spawned here? Surely with four aircraft over there we can now take that. So we'll have to go and take this command centre. Okay, so we've taken that, that's good. Could go and defend that, but I want to go and take the other one. I'll be aggressive. That heavy will take out that ground attacker. He's got the problem of two boomerangs on his tail, but I might be able to help with that. Hang in there. You'll soon be cut off from support. I say again, support will not be available. The airfields are ours. We've got the enemy contained. Wow, that was hard work. Bombs shortly. Bombs actually in place. May not need them, but we'll use them anyway. Oh, don't need them. Right. Over bother shouting. I'm not going to get a count, but I am going to get some sector captures. In fact, I've got uh, five sector captures. I've been busy in this game. I'll play to the Focker Wolf. He's put himself about. He's been very effective. I'm proud of you, pilots. Head back home. Okay, good.
Okay, so we should be about halfway through mission two now, I would have thought. Yep, just over halfway. Splendid. Okay. Um, we said we were going to fly the Mustang. Shall we fly the Mustang? Let's fly the Mustang. Which one we fly? Well, it's the one with cannons. Are you surprised, anybody? I'm sure you're not. Good evening, Tom. How are you? Nice of you to be able to catch me in your afternoon, I'm sure. Well, I say it's nice. I hope you think it's nice of, uh, to be able to catch me in your afternoon. Entering the combat zone. Get ready for battle. Good luck. <laughs> They've got um, th three heavies, but I've got a Mustang, so provided I catch them where I want them and they don't catch me where they want me, I could be in good stead here, even though I'm bottom tier. And what we're going to do, we'll go for the uh, airbase first. We'll try and rely on the bots to take everything else near us. Spawn point. 60 seconds for a bomb reload. Is it going to have a slot to allow you to mount um, strengthened hard points? That's the key question. Because if it does, then you'll be able to get that down to around about 40 seconds. That'll be quick. We could probably find that out now, actually. That was is something you could probably find out from the page on it. Tell you what, after this battle, we're going to have a look at this, um, the page for this uh, Stuka and try and work out what equipment it can mount. That's what I was waiting for. Try and find a Hornet. Wow, he's just rocketed someone. That's pretty hard to do. I am getting absolutely trashed by something behind... Oh, the fuck a wolf D got in. Okay, well that was a pretty pathetic attempt at the airbase by my team, I have to say. I have a feeling neither of my heavies went middle. So now we're right up against it. I played to the fuck a wolf. He saw I was after the horn, it got on me. So, and is he the top score? Right, we... Oh, crikey, the Fockle Wolf is actually a bot. Bit unlucky there, then. He's dead. Grand attacker will do instead. Good hits into him. Um, don't think we can just sit here and defend. I think we're going to probably lose the garrison. We either go and defend the garrison or we go and attack here. I think we attack. Feels like I've got a lot of aircraft. Let's, let's, let's spot. It is. Fortunately, got um, pummeled by something.
probably shouldn't be turning with this. Did lose that garrison. So I was right that he couldn't afford to just sit here and defend. So where's our opportunity? Where have we taken a chink? It's there. That's not there. There. I'm going to have to go off and attack. I can't afford to just sit at the airbase as much as I want to. to the F7F, but we have managed to take that sector, and we've also taken our local garrison back, so if we're going to defend the airfield and get back in there, come on, nice long spawn that is, thank you so much, and we haven't defended the airfield. Oh well. Back to the airfield and try and take it back. Just keep an eye on our two local garrisons. There's not much we can do about that one. I think the Grand Attack is going to get shot down by the fighter. So we can ignore that. Maybe he has. Oh, actually nearly taken that one that we have. Okay, so they can't afford to sit in the middle. And if they do, they'll lose. overheated my guns to do that, but never mind. Uh, let's go for the B-17G. It's full of hit points. Why not? Oh, it's not full of hit points. Okay, well, it's a kill then. Sneak the kill. I want a word with you. I may not get it. I want a word with you. All the same. Oh, he's flown into the control tower. That's pretty special. It's this one I wanted a word with, actually. Nearly up with his willing. It's pretty poor shooting, his willing. That's a win. Message to self, don't try and get uh, top by personal points in the current conditions. Only heavies will give you a chance of that. Hello, Patent Tanker, how are you? And for those of you wondering, High Tech Oil is Patent Tanker on Twitch. Right, we said we were going to go and look at the page for the Stuka. Shall we go and do that? First off, let's load it up in my browser. 
have to reach across to get to my um more planes attack aircraft German Tier five. Go. Let's just put that onto full screen so we can have a look. Right. Set up OBS. There we go. Okay, so what have we got? The famous Junkers 87 Stuka dive bomber capable of carrying a 1,000 kilogram bomb. So that's big for Tier 5. Massive for Tier 5. So that potentially is going to be able to take out well, it's going to take out your special objects. But the problem is you've only got one of them. Carries oh, it actually says bombs. That's interesting. I think it's going to be one, though. Good survivability, low airspeed. Guns aren't going to be great either. So the guns are 220mm cannons. So your ability to shoot targets down with your guns, ground targets, is going to be limited to basically tents. It's going to take you quite a while, I predict, to shoot down um, bunkers or any armoured target. So that's probably not going to be very good. Rear gunner, of course. Yep, one bomb. 8,000 damage. Okay. Specs. Add to standard configuration to compare. La, 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 la. Compare. Let's compare it to the other Stuka, shall we? So the tank buster. Okay, let's put this one into its top configuration. Let's put this one into its top configuration. It already is. What we're not getting to see is equipment slots. Where could I see that information? I'll have to think about that. I know I could see it in the API, but that's going to take too long. So you can see the gun armament is completely different. You're going to struggle to knock down ground targets with the guns. However, the bomb is big, but it's going to be important. It's going to really hinge on whether you can mount um, reinforced strengthened hard points or not and get that reload time down. Survivability is less, 550 hit points, air speed. It's pretty much the same. Maneuverability a little bit more, but that's not going to really help. Mm. If heavies come after you, that might help you be, be able to outturn them. It might. Okay. All right, so let's go back. See if we can glean anything else from the page. As I say, it's. I'll go and have a look and see if I can find out what equipment can be mounted. Oh, 974. I've gone up a couple during this stream, have I? That's nice to know. But it's still saying 972 for me, Matten. Okay, so by tomorrow, what I'll do is I'll go and find out um, more about the equipment on this. It's going to be really important as to whether you can mount strengthened hard points or not. Because if you can, and you can get that reload speed down to 45 seconds, this could be. Pretty interesting aircraft. Okay, so that's enough on that for the moment. Pee Wee Herman, indeed. I'll call you Pee Wee from now on. Now let's get back into a heavy. Um, there needs to be an air superiority heavy, one that's taking one aircraft. We will now fly the uh, P thirty P thirty eight J. Okay, let's get uh, OBS set up properly. 
not the video file. That's there we go. See ho. Goodness gracious me. Really? Is that my stream so far behind? Wow. That is a long way behind. Anyway. E38J it is. Well, another 26 subscribers wouldn't come amiss. I would then be getting about Tuppence Hapney um, from YouTube every now and then. Let's get myself in the right place. Ooh, two of me. <laughs> Perish the thought. I wish I was in the L now. Have we got a ground attacker? Hmm. Got a bomber. So what I'm going to try and do is try and take out the 50 point target with the bombs here and then the two 30 point targets and trust that the bomber is going to take out the central object. Perfect attack vector as well. I can get the bombs into that gap there. The alternative is to actually drop them there, but I'm, I'm going to trust that my bomber is going to do something with the fifth, those um, with the, the, the central object. I just hope so. Anyway. Okay. I, I try to be careful with the. Um, Rockets here. Uh, didn't do enough, really. It's actually quite inconvenient that there's a central one that's still up, well, that went down. So we need 70 points. This will be 30. We need 20. Perfect. There we go. I say perfect. Unbelievably, they've managed to take three sectors already. And we haven't even taken our garrison. Wow. He's going into the airfield. Why on earth did the XP-54 go to the mining plant? What possible use was that? Must be another heavy. Yeah, it must must have been the, the, the civilian. Which is why he's only got 230 points. He's been attacking ground target. He has got a bomb. I suspect the bomb didn't destroy... Okay, fine. Maybe I can just about understand that. That must have been the civilian that went to that. I haven't got a rear gunner. Must remember that. Good. Wow. Actually, I've got a nasty feeling that... Oh, that must have been the XP-54 coming out of the airfield. Which is why it was so heavily damaged. I think, I think, I think... I might actually take some of the bomber stream whilst I'm here. Carry on. I've made the wrong decision here. I shouldn't have gone for this bomber stream. I should have just gone straight for their um, command centre. That's a 302. Don't see many of those. 
Come on, get more hits on him. Where I've got something behind me as well. Oh, that's an XP. They've got an XP-54 behind us as well. And we're going to lose the plant. This is going to be a whitewash. What our XP-54 thinks he's doing, he's not defending and he's not attacking. I'll have bombs in a couple of moments. This time we are going to try and take the central object out. This is an XP-54 just flying around and shooting things with no, no conception of how to defend or attack. Absolutely zero conception of what he's doing, unfortunately. I think he's actually got himself shot down at the garrison, would you believe? I'm not sure about that. Uh, he's not shot down, but he's left. I don't know what... He oh, actually, I think he's just spawned. So yes, he got himself shot down at the garrison as well. That's pretty atrocious. Yep, I think you're right, except that he wasn't even farming. Just totally clueless. I think that was him who went to the plant at the start. No, he got 2,000 points, so no, he didn't. So he, no, I think he must have gone to the airfield at the start. And that I understand him losing that because he was probably on his own. My mistake only for the bomber flight. I should have gone for the command centre. Frankly, it would have made no difference. We would have still lost heavily once nobody's defending the, the mining plant. Which is what the XP-54 should have been doing. Once he, he was um, chased out of the airfield, he should have gone to the mining plant and just defended. Let's try that again. Uh, the 38L is superior when the map is heavy on targets like mining plants and military bases, provided your usual ordnance. Um, in a straight air superiority role, the P-38J is marginally better because of the gun gunnery. But those guns on the P-38L are pretty good, especially if you configure them correctly. It's not a bad aircraft, the P-38L. Oh, I've got, mind you, he wasn't much shake. He didn't get to do much in the previous battle either, so he's an unknown quantity, and this guy's jumped out of the battle. I might play the P-38L afters, but you won't see much difference. And if it's a map without mining plants and military bases and the like, I'll, I'd actually wish to be in this one. I do have a video on the P-38L on my channel, so I do invite you, Skunk Beard, if you are interested. Sorry, Robert, if you are interested, do go and look that up, and you'll learn all about the aircraft. And that video will include a comparison with not only this aircraft, but all of the other Tier 6 heavies. So uh, goodbye to one ME410, and I think he, that was because he met the XP-54 in a collision. The XP-54 then died because um, he had no health left. Oh, 
Right, so he's going to be trying to dogfight me, so we go up. That's the one thing the Grand Attacker cannot sustain, is pointing himself upwards. To be fair, he didn't do it, actually. To be aware that there's a fighter behind me, so I need to speed away whilst also shooting this guy. still chasing me. That's why he was chasing me, he's a fast fighter. Right. Need to get back to the plant as fast as possible. So we'll leave him be. I'm amazed we're not making a better fist of defending this. Why is my XP fifty four going to the last airfield? has got all the tactical awareness of an amoeba. That helps. Using his um, rear... Oh, even though I'm going to kill him, they've got it. Thanks, XP54. And he got himself shot down at the airfield. Unbelievable. That is unbelievable what he's doing. I'll bet you he doesn't come to the plant now. Oh, actually, I may be wrong here. There's three heavies in the game. That's that XP-54 again. Okay, let's take him right up and away. Oh, look at our XP-54. Trying to help on this occasion. I can't really complain about that. Not actually getting himself into a whole heap of trouble. Thanks for taking my wing. chased off the plant by the XP-55. Well played to him, even though he's had a very small score. We've been really hampered by the lack of our bomber. Well, we're going to have to take the centre and then we're going to have to kill them all. Where is our XP-54 now? Well, it says he's in game, but I don't see him. He's just been shot down. He was over the garrison. <laughs> Seriously. This is, this is part of the frustration of playing with players who either don't care or don't understand what they're doing.
there's loads of them here. I can take the Emmy. What can I do? I've got no support because of this dolt with an XP-54. Always fire, fighting in the wrong places. And that's two games in a row he's fought. In almost every single occasion I've seen him, he's been on the wrong sector. And he gets himself shot down over them as well. Which I don't understand. How can you possibly get yourself shot down over an airfield full of bots? And yet he did. It's so frustrating to have poor, poor players on your team. The trouble is it drags me down as well. I then start playing badly. I start making bad decisions because I'm trying to do too much. So... Is that the XP-54? Why has he gone to an airfield? What is his obsession with the airfield? Awful, awful, awful play. Yeah, the EU server is much more populated than the NA server, server skunk bid. I'll try and put a t polite message to this guy. OK, let's try the P-38L. Different, um, different guns on this. It hasn't got the big guns. But they're OK. I haven't opted to improve these for distance. If you want to combat XP-54s, then you should improve them for distance. I've actually op op opted to improve their output so the DPS comes up to something I think is useful. There is a situation where if you want to fight XP-54s, you need to use your altitude performance to climb away from them, then stall turn on them or hammerhead turn on them and hit them with your weaponry, which you have set up for long range. It will be longer range than the XP-54s. I don't like setting up my aircraft to combat just one plane, so I haven't done that. But if you are concerned about XP-54s in this plane, so far as the weaponry is concerned, that's what you should do. Uh, that's true, Skunkbeard. You have to expect um, during uh, the events that people will play with complete lack of awareness, more so than normal. But it is a bit frustrating to have been paired with a guy who, Attention. twice in a row, who had zero idea what he was doing. Right, us heavies are going to have to stick together. They've got the one extra. Quite often I would make a play for this base here, but against four heavies I'm very likely to fly into at least two, if not three of them. So I don't think we can afford to do that. I think we have to play canny and stay together and try and gang up on them. And hope they split up and make themselves easily available via individual as individual targets.
Why did that happen? Because I spent so long trying to find the right spot to drop the bombs. My depth vision let me down for the first time on the stream. And I didn't realise I was that close to the ground. We've lost this game. Potentially because of that stupidity on my part. Well, I say stupidity. It's just simply because I've lost the sight in this eye, I just don't see the ground as being as near as it is. And I was desperately trying to make sure those bombs went in the right place, and I still didn't destroy that target either. That actually may be a good thing. But that's so frustrating. That's one of the things that I really, really regret about losing the sight in my eye. Oh, the two tents are up. And that's why I was trying to get those bombs so well placed, because I know that happens when you don't get them both in the right place. Oh, somebody's done it now. Right. I'm going to have to do a bit of defending because I've put us on the back foot with that awful play just now. We are now gonna I'm probably gonna have to be aggressive and try and take their military base. And I I'm expecting at least two of their heavies to be sitting there. This ball turn should allow me to get on him. team is focused on defending. We can't afford to defend. We have to attack. Let's go and get that key 102 out and then see if we can make our way to the military. Actually, you know what? It would be smarter to leave him as is. Oh, he's gone down now anyway, I think. Unfortunately, he's now coming straight towards me, so I have no choice but to take him out. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to leave him in place so he would have very little health to defend the military base. Now he's going to respawn and go straight there and possibly. It's not a bot. Uh, excuse me? I'm being shot at by my own player. aircraft so let's just put some damage into this before I lose it good now why was that idiot in the p38l shooting me oh he's some sort of idiot from the CIS server let's report him yeah I'm really having quite a problem with it I'm just going to have to learn to pull up 
long before there's an, a, a, an, an issue. I've yet to do that. I can't do what I used to do previously, which is leave it to my eyes to judge. I think our friend in the um, P38L is one of those people, the kind of person who thinks that because he pays tax, road tax, the entire road is his and nobody else should get in his way. According to this, I've got to be careful here. Those are artifacts. Need to be focused as well. Oops, time to fly into that. We cannot support you any longer. The storm is too heavy. Do you copy? Over. hundred feet range on those so I'm out of his range now the good thing is I've made him turn away from doing anything dangerous I'm still able to get in here Heavy is busy with our bomber, so I've got the opportunity to shoot that down. Air Heavy is still busy with the bomber and has almost no health. Right, let's try not to lose the aircraft this time, shall we? Ah. Victory is ours. We're waiting for your return. Okay. Well, I got carried by my two, my um, P-39. Well played to you, sir. That's a great score in that game. And the bomber. I was rather very lucky to get away with that after that very bad mistake at the start. So I got, I got carried there. Um, it. I think it's too early to say, Erica. There's um. An issue potentially at tier 10, which I haven't played at because I've been trying to get above the sky done. Shall we go and have a look at tier 10 and see if we're going to um, get a load of bomber spam? So initially, in the past couple of weeks, we've been getting terrible numbers of people at tier 10. As many as six tier 10 bombs, bombers per game, plus a load of ground attackers. Um, and it's made tier 10 and tier 9 completely unplayable for anybody other than perhaps people in a javelin or a tank up ME262 or the bomber players themselves. Now, there is some evidence during the course of the week, although I haven't played a lot enough, that maybe that bomber spam has receded a bit. We're going to find out in a moment. I suspect I'm going to get a shed load of bombers in this game. As far as the rest of the players are concerned, the CIS players appear to be either ta mostly tactically naive or I think more likely completely careless of tactics and just want to chase after red aircraft and shoot them down no matter where they are even if that means they leave sectors undefended and they lose the game. They don't seem to care. Now that's obviously not all of them but it is apparently a fair number of them. Certainly at l mid tiers and below at high tiers, as I say, they just seem to be jumping into their bombers left, right and centre, and they seem to play hardly anything else. That's really bad for the game. But let's see what happens here. Now, I've had a long day at work, and I can feel that my concentration is being beginning to waver. Um, so I may actually call it after this game.
and then we will resume again tomorrow and tomorrow will be a nice long day it'll be on twitch not youtube or at least certainly not in the morning um but i have the day off tomorrow so i can concentrate on what i'm doing in terms of uh advancing the missions for the Stuka. And as you can see, they're just mighty big grinds, hours worth of effort in most cases. However, there are one or two that you're going to be nasty. Two bombers. Could be worse. At least there's one on each side. So, we can see they've already got their plant, which I would expect. Now, that to me suggests that the AF-131 will be coming along this track somewhere. I could be wrong. We're going to try and spot him out. He's actually gone middle. It's not what I would have done. Unfortunately for me, that meant I couldn't get uh, to do it, deliver an attack on him because I would have been behind him, which I absolutely cannot afford to be, unless he's very heavily damaged. So what we'll do, we'll do other things. the Hornet, so I don't mind taking on the Hornet. What I've got to do is pay attention to where the J7W3 might be. Okay, good. So I expect us to have their plant shortly, and they will have ours very shortly as well. What we need to do is take their military base. Let's go and try and do that. He's busy, so I'm going to try and surprise him. Oh, picked off the wrong aircraft. Where did he go? Shoot! And that means he's managed to get behind me. And he's got my wings, so unless I'm very lucky and he's built the speed... How could he possibly be landing shots at me there when I'm actually turning inside him? I've got a broken wing and I'm out turning him. That must be frightening for him. I must admit, I don't know how I managed to get something into his tail there. Funny sort of game, this. 
So I've actually done that on the purpose to try and get myself away from the mountain. So I now know I can outturn him. Oh, go away, you horrible J7W3. Lucky boy. So the MEP110 has no way of outturning me. He even couldn't outturn me when I was had a broken wing. Need to go and defend this now. So that's useful to know. And I've kept encircling. I think we're going to take the military base in a moment. Oh no, they've just managed to shoot down whatever was most most of the way to taking that. So I definitely do need to make sure we don't lose this. Stop wiggling. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Should swap um, mining plants again in a moment. Thank you. Let's go and deal with this. The enemy is launching rockets at us from the military base. Take action. You haven't got a friend this time. Goodbye. Easy. Easy kill. Okay, so two bombers, that's manageable, so maybe the bomber spam is over. The trouble is I haven't got a big enough sample to be sure, and they'll probably be out again in force during the course of this um, event, I guess. Still, happy with that. Yeah. I mean, had I not lost my wing in that first dogfight, he would have been down a lot sooner. But the interesting thing was I was out turning in with um, uh, a broken wing. And as you saw in the second fight, it wasn't even even. I was just out turning in with ease. Okay, so we've only got five more to go on mission two. Stage one, mission two, which is mission two overall. But, ladies and gentlemen, I have food to eat. I've thoroughly enjoyed my stream, but it's time to say cheerio. So... All of you who've taken time to come out and see me this evening and play a little bit of Warplanes, I hope you found it enjoyable and perhaps even informative. Should be streaming again tomorrow, but that's tomorrow morning. That's on Twitch. I may stream for quite a lot of tomorrow, so watch out for that. Uh, if you've enjoyed this stream and you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, which is free, it won't cost you anything, please consider doing so. I'd appreciate the support. And with that, I hope the rest of your day... Um, goes beautifully and smoothly for you and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. This is the Noble Q signing out. Bye bye everyone.